welcome to my channel. So I wanted to do a summer trends video before I go back to Kansas City and do a bunch of thrifting there with my mom. I'll be going back for my friend's wedding. I think I'll be there for like 10 days. So my mom and I have some thrifting activities to do. If you're new to my channel, my name's Mallory. I live in New York City and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri and I work in the fashion industry. So all things fashion on here really besides like some vlogs here and there. But I do love talking about trends just because my whole life really revolves around it. I'm constantly doing like research for work and you know shopping myself personally. Anyway, I pulled together a bunch of stuff. I decided to do this trend research recap a little bit differently. I feel like this is a weird angle. And do more what I'm gonna be wearing for summer trends instead of like the overall arching summer trends. Like there's so many trends out there right now and always I just feel like the market is so saturated anymore that you really just need to figure out your personal style. So these are the trends that I like, that I'm seeing, that I wanna play into this summer. And I hope that's a, a little bit of helpful context because you know there's so much going on and don't mind my missing nails they all fell off so don't bother okay so I'm gonna start off with color I pulled together like a bunch of images and stuff which I'll put up over here starting off with the colors of the season um, we have pink oh my god are you surprised my favorite color look at these fun trousers that I got from Zara like probably five months ago now you know Vanessa Hudgens and Coachella so you know Coachella and the Met Gala were recently so there's gonna be a ton of like inspiration from that that I'm pulling and just like what's on the market right now like images from like shop Bob net porte Zara, Aritzia, whatever. All the places, you know, Pinterest, girlies. But yeah, just gonna see a lot of this like hot pink color and then we're gonna bring it into the color mixtures where it's like hot pink with green, like green and pink everywhere, a lot of orange and pink, you know, that kind of thing. So gonna see that a lot in the color realm. I have my stuff on my laptop, so that's why I'm like over here. We have the green like pops, the, you know, forest green color as well as that minty green color and then some of this like lime green color so green and pink i think are going to be the biggest this summer and pops of this turquoise color that reminds me so much of like 2010 and pops of you know bright orange which i love the orange and pink mixture thing those are my two favorite colors but we're going to see it in a lot of accessories to like show that look so if you're into that you know keep that in mind that accessories are a great way to get this color in if you're more of a neutral girly and then just in general like very colorful prints very colorful stripes very colorful shoes like those gucci shoes i want them so bad if i had money i would totally get them but you know how that goes so those shoes are just so cute and you're gonna be seeing probably something like this show up at steve Madden in the next five months the next month to be honest let's be real but then from color we'll go into accessories and i'm gonna go through accessories to like different styles and stuff so like all the things summer trends okay so first off in accessories what i think we're seeing a lot of is this like crochet bag crochet is huge which we'll get to but crochet bags these like grocery bags tote bags like larger satchels I think it comes a lot from the fact that people are trying to be more sustainable they're trying to not buy so many shopping bags and things and you want to like if you're gonna have to carry a bag you might as well make it like decently cute so I think that's where that's coming from and I personally really want a crochet bag but we're also seeing a lot of just like tote bags like a lot of designers have this tote you know we started off with Christian Dior a couple years ago and now I feel like it's just every like Burberry, Givenchy, Chloe, like all the fancy places, you know, they have their tote bag that's like a tan neutral with their kind of thing. Like it's like the summer bag, you know? I mean, people probably wear them to the beach or something, but I would just bring them to Trader Joe's. But also just like the handheld bag is still in. I think those shoulder bags are always going to be in. Pops of color like I was mentioning and um, just like fun prints, like a fun bag. Like if I feel like these are really easy to thrift. If you just go and look, you'll probably find like so many like early 2000s type of vibes it's like that kind of tacky like things are like kind of tacky but they're like in a chic way if you dress it right you know so also seeing so many butterflies everywhere especially in Coachella like that was I mean insanity how many people were wearing butterflies and things so like the butterfly clips I do kind of want to try it like I think it'd be fun to wear it out like from a, for a day out or like maybe you know to go to like the park or something I don't know it's giving like fairy princess lots of like hair clips that are just kind of like I said tacky Claw clips, I'm personally wearing one right now. It's like, it's so easy and it's like considered chic now, like the clean girl look. So I wear it a lot, but I, I do keep the pieces in. I'm not really much of one for the slick look, but maybe one day I could get into it. I don't know. I just 
recently noticed this is like a lot of people wearing the scarves around your head like tied I think it's really cool like I, it gives like beach vibes to me I don't know if I'll be doing it a lot like maybe when I'm on vacation something like that but a lot of these like bandana um, headband things and then bringing it into shoes so I really do want to find a pair of like chunky platform flip-flops I think they're gonna be so comfortable and like it's like wearing heels but you're comfortable and I think there's like so many dupes on like Steve Madden or like Dolce Vita probably has some I really like these orange one this girl is wearing I think those are really fun they're maybe a little bit too high but this just like overall clean look I think is really nice and like we were saying you know the Gucci slides I'm gonna need those one day and then um you know Gucci is just always doing great things Gucci little slingback heels which I always see stuff like this at the thrift stores so I'm guaranteeing you can find something like that thrifting probably not Gucci I mean probably if you wanted to go to like resale sites but in the actual thrift stores there's a lot of like Kohl's JC Penney brands that have this exact style that's like trending I think they'd be really cute with like a big pair of culottes which we'll get to jeans later but very embellished heels I think those are so fun like rhinestone bow rhinestone brooch like these Man Manolos are so cute and then these are from Dolce Vita they'll just like a pearl pearls everywhere and accessories on like t-shirts like on little port parts of like a denim jean or something something else huge that was also at Coachella a lot is the cowboy boot I mean everyone's wearing them they're really cute I think you can wear them with a fun sundress you can wear them with a denim jean I want a pair but I definitely don't want to buy them full price so I'm planning on just like thrifting one maybe and who knows maybe I'll miss the trend but whatever for necklaces I love like a chunky gold necklace with like a little heart pendant or like a lock or something it's giving very much like juicy couture 2010 with these big chunky like chains and then a lot of these like colorful bead type like playful again like that tacky kind of vibe but like if you mix it with a pearl necklace it's pretty cute so I'll totally be doing that I actually already have one from last summer that is pretty similar to this from Target that I um, recently just got like a little necklace from Anthropology, which I love their jewelry but that like vibe is really playing into this like whole like kind of childlike clothes that are really in and that brings me to the early 2000s so we've got the corset I feel like this is really taking over and at first I was a little hesitant but I do think it's really cute like it's honestly very comfortable because it's like a built-in bra that doesn't fall down and it's kind of hot you know like a good vibe and you can find like ones that aren't so sexy but this like urban outfitter one went so viral on TikTok um and I just I think you can totally thrift something like this like just looking like the lingerie section and you can probably find one that's appropriate for like actual clothing I mean depending on who you are and how comfortable you are wearing something like that but also just like styling wise I don't know if I'm gonna do like the super y2k but I could get on like a sequin tank with like a baggier jean and like a fun heel like that sort of 2000s that's a little bit Paris Hilton vibes I could get into it's the more like like tiny clothes and like the see-through stuff that I don't really think is for me so this cargo jean with like a tank top sticking out that's like a little bit longer a lot of straight across with the skinny straps like very it reminds me of like Mary Kate and Ashley or something like stuff like they would wear and buttoning your cardigans because sometimes in the summer like it still does get cooler at night I think a little cardigan you button up a two up at the top or like one in the middle such a cute little vibe and you wear your little bag and you're just like so 2000s in a way but not in a ta super tacky way a lot of this like untucked shirt button up which I will get into also in a little bit but like same with the big baggy jean and just a slide and a little bag like that kind of styled look I love and then also just cargo shorts or like linen pants like these cargo shorts man I'm seeing them on all the girlies like Hannah G and like the tiktokers are all wearing them and I actually I really like that style so I could get into it I think if I do a low waist anything it's gonna be a cargo pant that's like a little baggier because I think that's a little more flattering and then like a small tank so I think these two outfits are literally so cute and then um just these little dresses like silk satin dresses a lot of girls are thrifting like literal nightgowns so we'll see if we find anything like that there's probably like some satiny dresses out there I already do have like quite a few so I don't want to overdo it because you know it's like I do have them already so we'll see and then just like longer maxi skirts almost like not super maxi where it hits the floor but like ankle skirts like not midi where it's right at the under the knee but not all the way to the floor so like a midi maxi I don't know there's probably a 
term for it but those in like a sweater form or a crochet form or a satin form gonna be seeing that a lot which those are always chic and so comfortable so that'll be like a fun thing to look for and then that brings me to at the beach you know summer vacations just like I mean I live in the city but if I live somewhere like Florida like this kind of vibe and for me I'll just be wearing this kind of stuff to like go to the park like hang out with my friends like just be summery so I said at the beach because it's like the vibe it gives for me but I mean I'll be wearing it to the parks and stuff here in New York so we'll see but the number one thing and I actually have pretty much this girl's outfit from last year from Zara but these all matching sets are so freaking cute I mean I love them like a little bra matching short like the high-rise short that's a little baggier and then a button-up like dad shirt I think it's such a vibe so cute these button-up dad shirts are everywhere with like a linen pant maybe it's giving a little bit of that coastal grandma vibe with like a bigger Bermuda short like the denim jean I really want to find a pair I want to find one thrifting but I just feel like that's not gonna happen for me I don't know why I feel like denim is so hard to thrift I feel like everyone thrifts it so there's never my sizing but we can like definitely look and see what we can get into but like you see here she's wearing a crochet bag she's wearing a claw clip she's wearing pink and green this girl is on trend you know and then we also have it in like the longer short like matching set thing with the button up and everything but see how it's styled it's pink and green like so much of that with even just a platform shoe like as we go through these photos you'll see trends that I've talked about like show up in the these images and it's just like wow it's literally everywhere but also a reminder that you don't need to do all the trends like the basket bags are so cute from last summer you know regular shorts are still cute all that stuff so these are just trends that I'm seeing that I'm looking for thrifting but I'm not gonna like have it all you know these are just things I'm looking for but also with the crochet oh wait this green one is so cute I love the stripe I mean this whole outfit I think is like a thousand dollars but you can totally find something like this at zara or maybe thrifting so we'll see but then we have like our crochet girly look at this little set oh my god with the bandana top i mean it's so cool i would absolutely die to have this set it also was like a thousand dollars but i think there's got to be something out there very similar i love the colors the fact that there's so much color out right now really is great for my personality and bad for anyone who's like super into neutral so i'm so sorry if you're a neutral girly like let's break out of our shells and get some you know pops of color in there but I'm loving like the multicolored stripes and you'll just see ready oh my god there's so many we've got our mini oh my god this little mini dress like how cute you go to the beach you put on your little slides and then you walk up and you get yourself a rosé and like a charcuterie board I mean what a fun vacation and then like this girl from Pinterest she's also in like a just a longer crochet like chic thing we've got the square the square neck with the little strappy so cute I love that image I want to recreate that image this summer and then loving this maxi dress with the stripes going um vertically <laughs> had to do that little thing in my mind with the sunset you know um and then more just like of this like mesh see-through thing like this dress i could see myself wearing so who knows maybe i will do more of that like super y2k thing where it's like sheer and strappy but i think i just really like the pattern on it honestly and i probably wouldn't actually wear something super see-through like this crochet dress is so see-through which is fine with the swimsuit and i know people are wearing it like in real life see-through but i just don't think i can do that personally but note like the blue and green mixing and like the little fun heel like loving this like vibe and then this little set is actually zara but i don't really need it but like so freaking darling and then you know also for the neutral girlies like there are crochets that are neutral like this little dress is so classic and timeless this can be worn for literally ever i feel like i wanted this like five years ago and then oh my god this set is to die for this black set and this big toe i mean she is so chic i cannot get over it it's such a beautiful set but it's like probably a thousand dollars and then also going off of these like sets and these button downs and things like the silky crepey crinkle fabric is so big too and it looks so nice like this girl on the beach is a vibe and then these are just ones i saw online like versions of where it's like a button up with a collar or it's colorless and just like more of a flare pant but like love the way it's just like very relaxed like pajama type of look and i'm sure it's so comfortable so i totally want to find something like that i might actually have to buy something like that um brand new so we'll see but then another look that i'm like literally dying over this is gonna be a long video i'm gonna try to go faster is this bridgerton vibe i literally ordered this dress in purple and i'm gonna return it 
because it's like still $100 and I really shouldn't be spending $100 on a dress I don't have anywhere to go to. But so cute. I'm loving this like across the thing like with the puff sleeve and the layers and then the ties. Like it's very like corset like vibes. And then just these like very tiered dresses. Every dress in the freaking world right now has a tier on it. It's insanity. I literally cannot get over it. And like little ruffles. I design dresses for work. So I'm just like constantly researching dresses and I cannot find one without tears. And I'm like, I'm sorry I don't have anything super new to show because everything has a tear. This dress is literally screaming Bridgerton. I had to show it just because I was like, they totally were watching Bridgerton and decided to design this. I mean, it has that little like umpire waist thing and then like the literal flowers that are all about Bridgerton, you know? Cause I, well, I'm really into Bridgerton and my sister had a Bridgerton bridal shower. So I did a lot of like research for it. So anyway, I'll put that here in case you want to watch it sometime. And then just like lots of eyelets, very girly, girly. I call it the Bridgerton vibe, but like just like girly appliques, girly florals, lots of pearls, like this whole thing. See the eyelet with like a little bra and like we've got the little strappies. Like it's giving very much girly and I'm very here for it. You know, even eyelet blazers. Like can you even believe that? Eyelet matching sets. We've got the eyelet corset, you know, and then this like tied thing here is also very in, which reminds me so much of the second season of Bridgerton. And then it also brings in that corset vibe, but these are like more girly corsets where they're like, um, like bows and like little ditzy prints, lots of florals, like the whole kind of like grease looking thing. I, like everything I would want to wear in Italy that probably people that are Italian don't wear, but like I think that they wear. <laughs> um, like these florals, satiny, like very pretty, like girly things. Moving on. We're talking about denim. Super dark denim, like matching sets. Like we've got a jacket, we've got a skirt, we've got a jacket and a short, you know? So those matching sets. Again, this girl with the longer board shorts. These are the things that I was talking about earlier. Love them. We've got it in a stripe. We've got it in black, low rise with the matching denim jacket. Jacket. It's like insanity how much is out there. So I totally want one of those to wear with like a bikini top or also just like a crop top to like run errands. Like I, that's the new short and I don't want to be wearing tiny shorts anymore. So like I think it's a perfect trend for anyone. Then we have like the denim jeans with the cuff. I'm seeing this little cuff thing everywhere. And then for me, I'm just going to be wearing the high, super high waist straight jeans, maybe one slit. Then we have like more no, no holes in them. I'm like over the whole thing. I really want a pair of jeans that don't have any holes so we'll see if we can find something i have a feeling i'm gonna need to buy them new i actually just recently bought these culotte pants which i'm gonna be seeing a lot of too just like lots of different denim silhouettes that are like more fun it's not like the skinny jean skinny jean skinny jean or the dad jean it's like culottes wide leg flare all that kind of thing but no holes with the holes i'm not seeing them um and then also we've got the 90s cargo slouchy vibe so these are super fun abercrombie has a pair that i've been eyeing and um i've seen a few tech tiktokers wearing them so i'm like do i buy them but i think it's just like kind of a micro trend so i think i'm gonna skip out on it i don't know how much i'd wear it like maybe once or twice in the summer and then it's like too hot to even freaking put jeans on so i might skip out on that trend but i'm definitely seeing it so i just want to point it out and also like i do like it so like maybe if i found one thrifting i'd be like sure and then um i also really like these like green pants that this girl's wearing and i think it's a super fun thing that we're gonna be seeing going into fall and stuff to keep our color in because i don't think the color thing is gonna go away for like a couple years and then it'll all be like wear tan wear white wear black again but for now the color is in 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 and i've seen that a lot in the denim so just a little note and then we have the last trend which is more of like me i would say like work vibes or whatever but the preppy quote-unquote coastal grandma which i did a whole video on coastal grandma you'll have to watch it it was actually like one of my favorite videos to film i loved it i kind of want to do like a y2k version of where i do like this 2000s trend that i was doing like in the beginning of the video so let me know if you want that. I think that'd be a fun little topic to do with my mom. Um, anyway, moving on into this coastal grandma, uh, preppy slash coastal grandma thing. The tying of the sweater is so cute. I've been doing it a lot. It's so nice because I always want a sweater because I get cold. So it's like very logical, you know, and you can do it dressed down like this girl's wearing those split leggings, which I actually have a pair and just a white top. I mean, the gloves are like a huge trend. I think they're really fun if you wear like a really fun night out dress or something, but it's not something I'm like planning to do like normally maybe in a few years or something who knows it's giving bridgerton but i do like this girl's like basket bag and whole vibe so i could totally see myself wearing something like this with the fun shoes or like this other gal she's wearing like the really pretty trousers like trousers are so in obviously i'm wearing a pair of pink ones i want a pair of like light tan ones i have a pair of black ones so the trouser is huge but also just showing like more button-ups with a pop of color if you're more of a neutral girly like you just put a pop of color from a bag and you throw on a straw
stripe and you're all white you know like that's really really cute too like we were saying these white trousers i'm on the hunt i just might go to aritzia even though i shouldn't but like maybe i should buy like a white trouser versus like a pretty purple dress that i'll wear like three times in the summer or like a pant that i wear once a week it's probably more fiscally or stomach so maybe but i love this like very chic vibe these white pants like i said the black pants so like the little striped top still so cute i do have a black pair so it's not like i'm like don't have anything but you know what i mean and then like for linens like just linen pants linen shorts so cute the the h&m has a really cute pair that went viral these are like the expensive ones from net-a-porte these are j crew ones and again with the even j crews like still has like the micro trends in there so like the crochet bag she's got that bag on she's wearing a little bra top she's wearing a button up like she's very preppy girly but she is keeping up with the trends this dress from tucker enough i just think is so cute i love it i think it's so nice i want it but not that that bad to spend like $150 on it so we're gonna thrift it right don't you think and then um Aritzia has these like super cute sets right now with like a little polo and then the fun skirts I think Ari has some skirts I'm getting a lot of ads for them I'm gonna about to have like a sheesh ton of ads come up on my phone <laughs> after this video but Ari has fun ones too and just like the light yellow which is a little bit of a color that's gonna come in but I think personally it'll just like wash me out so be careful with that but I think that is something to keep an eye out of in colors too I didn't really mention Mention it but i'm mentioning it now aren't i anyway okay come on quick 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 okay anyway almost done the pleated skirt still i'm kind of over like the super like schoolgirl look which i never really did it i had a leather skirt that i literally never wore i think that trend is still totally viable i just think it's a little bit overdone so people are swaying away from it and putting it more in like athleisure like more tennis vibes and i really want this tennis dress they have one at like athleta free people aritzia this one's an aritzia one they're somewhere else they're all over oh abercrombie so i'm totally gonna poshmark one of those this year and i'm really excited about it because i think it's perfect to like wear on a sunday and like do a skirt with me video like get you know moving around but like if your skirt flies up it's like fine i think it's gonna be so comfy so anyway that is all the things but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm so excited to be back in kansas city to thrift with my mom i love doing trend things so i'll see you back for the fall and i'm so excited for summer oh my god have fun i post new videos every thursday i've been doing more tiktok than instagram i think every Everyone has it's just like where I spend my time so I'm assuming other people are too so check that out and subscribe to my youtube channel it makes me so happy and I feel like I looked at my analytics for like the first time and it pretty much was saying people like reoccurringly come to my channel and watch my videos every week but they're not subscribed so if you're one of those people come on subscribe okay hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one okay actually bye now bye <laughs>